Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome, simple, easy mining base. Let me show you what this place has to offer. First of all, as you'd expect, we have a mining area. This mining area not only has a lot of light, it's very secure, but it also has a minecart track. So, if you like, you can have a minecart go all the way down into the depths of your mineshaft. Unfortunately, mine stops a few blocks down because I am, of course, in a super flat world and I can't mine through bedrock yet. We have a pretty large house as well. The house also is connected to the minecart system, so we are able to actually enter the house via the track, and we do also have an additional entrance which runs up the house as well. And the house is very well lit, it's nice and open, you can see out of the house and see how defensible your actual house is. We have plenty of storage, and if we move down into the depths of the house, which is where we are going to keep all of our stuff, you'll see that we have a very functional, surprisingly spacious, nice and colourful home. And on top of all of that, we have a farm, we have a tree, we have some water, and we have some nice big walls to keep all of the evil creepy crawlies out of your base at night. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. If you do, please do remember to smack that like button. That'd really help me out. I'd really appreciate it and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and guys comment down below let me know what you want to see next and if you want to check out any more of my stuff also do remember to check out the cards and the description below after you've made your mining base but without any further ado let me show you how this thing is made so if you want to make it Here's what you'll need. Grab yourself some spruce wood, some oak wood planks, some oak wood stairs, some oak wood slabs, some oak wood fence, glass pane, stomach stairs, cauldrons, and some wooden trap doors. We do also need all of the other materials that you can see in the inventory right now, which seems like a lot, and it is. But those will be the only ones we need throughout the entire build. So please do, pause the video, make sure that you got everything. And once you do have everything, we can proceed to make the entire base. So, the base is going to take up this amount of space that you can see on the ground. It won't take up any more than this. I'm not going to leave you a big giant number plan on the ground of how much space this is going to take but you'll be able to estimate it using this shape that i have in your world so this is how much sort of space you're looking at make sure that you have enough before you start building anyway i'm going to begin building the base on this point right here and we're going to start off with a row of six spruce wood coming up from the ground. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to take that six spruce wood and we're going to do two things from it. First of all, we're going to extend it coming forwards by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we're also going to take that spruce wood and we're going to go right of it by one, up one, right one, up one, right one up one we then want to take the last block that we went up on top of and we want to go right one down one right one down one right one connect that block down to the ground like this but you also want to take that block and you want to extend it towards you the block that you connected down to the ground by eight so that's one two three four five six seven eight connect that across and also connect both of those blocks, those eight blocks, down to the ground. And this is going to be the foundation of your house. As a matter of fact, really, we shouldn't have connected those together left and right. Because what we do want to do is we want to have the shape that we have on the back of the build. So we can take either one of these blocks and we can extend them inwards. And then place one on top. Inwards. One on top. Inwards. And then stick a block on top so you can see that we have a nice little foundation. And what we're now going to do is we are going to connect the base of the base together. So we are just going to place a layer of spruce wood that goes all the way around the base of the build like this. You guys can see what I'm talking about all the way around the base of the build like, boop, like that. And what we want to do on the middle of the base so basically the middle of the base is here so uh basically here is the middle of the base so from the base where you've just placed all the spruce would you want to leave a gap of one 
this is the middle part. And we are going to place a row of spruce wood that cuts the build in half. It basically just cuts the build in half like this, and it just wants to go all the way through the center like that. Nice and simple. On the left hand side of the build, at the base of the build, we want to, in the very center of the build, we want to place ourselves a glass pane with a spruce wood either side, like this. We then want to place glass everywhere else at the base of the build, like that. On the second floor, we want to extend the spruce woods upwards, like this. We want to place ourselves some oak wood planks at the bottom of the empty spaces left and right, and we want to place glass pane in the upper spaces, like this. On the back of the build, we're here on the back of the build, we want to place a glass pane at the bottom center part of the build inside the spruce wood, chuck a spruce wood either side, and place some glass pane either side of that. And for the top of the build, we're going to place a row of oak wood planks down at the base, and then we're going to fill the top of this in using glass. So, all the top in with glass. The right hand side of the build is a little bit different. You may find that you want to kind of like leave the bottom of the build open. You might just want to leave that part open. So you might even want to destroy the spruce wood. But the top part though, if you want to start from the left hand side, you want to do this pattern basically. It's basically like one oak plank, one spruce. One oak, one spruce, one oak, one spruce. Leaving the last bit open because that is where our entrance is going to be. And I'm just going to fill all of the upper parts in using glass. Now moving to the front of the build here. What we want to do is on the second floor on top of this row of spruce wood. We want to go from left to right. We want to place a fence, spruce, fence, then a spruce, fence like this. We then, on the ground floor of this, uh, we want to place like pretty much just glass on the entire um, bottom part. Except, we actually, we'll have the spruce wood follow all the way down to the ground floor like this. And we want to place two rows of spruce in front of like the two middle rows of spruce that you have there anyway. If you guys can see what I'm talking about, I'm sure you can. And you want to place yourself some upside down oak wood stairs at the bottom part of the spruce. And you want to place, just leaving a gap of one, a regular facing oak wood stairs, just one gap above. And if you want, you could even move the window maybe to the outside part. That might even look a little bit better. Uh, where we have this big empty space here, um, actually, first of all, we're going to connect these two back spruce woods. We're going to connect these upwards using oak wood fence. So we're just going to connect that up and up like that. We're going to place a an oak wood plank right there in the top center part of this with an upside down oak wood stair in front with two slabs in front with a spruce wood in front of that. And I'm just going to grab the buttons, stone buttons specifically. I'm going to chuck one in there. And I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to grab the stone brick stairs. And underneath the spruce wood, I'm going to place three fence. One, two, three. With a cauldron underneath. And I'm just going to chuck some wooden trapdoors all the way around the cauldron. And that's going to look quite nice. It basically looks like a mining bucket or something like that. It looks really cool. Okay, so next thing we're going to tackle is the roof. Because the roof's quite easy, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to move the stairs together. And the edge of the roof is made out of stone brick stairs. And the stone brick stairs extend um, forwards and backwards the build by one row. So they basically, in layman's terms, it overhangs the front and back of the build by one row. As just about all of my roofs do. The middle part of the roof is made out of oak wood stairs, so the middle part of the roof is oak wood stairs coming all the way up to the top of the roof like this. And the very top of the roof, once we've added our trim of stonework stairs here, and you're going to want to have a forward stonework stair facing right up at the top like this, uh, we're just going to place like a row of spruce wood moving back to the build. But in between the stone brick stairs that overhang, we're going to have a row of oak fence if you guys are keeping up with this. So um, I'm just going to fill all the roof in. I'm going to add all of the oak wood stairs. I'm going to add the stone brick stair trim on the side of the roof. You guys can see me 
adding the stone brick stair trim like this and I'm even going to add upside down stone brick stairs here underneath the overhanging stone brick stairs so like that that's looking pretty decent let's head to the back now let's head all the way to the back and we're just gonna stone brick stair stone brick stair stone brick stair and stone brick stair 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 one in front of that fence and then we're just going to have them all underhang because it looks nice basically is the only reason so we're just going to have something which should look like that and you can see the house is looking pretty good but we are missing a couple of things so we're going to grab the spruce wood and we're going to take the very back right hand corner of the house which is this corner like this uh, spruce wood block here and we're going to extend this to the right how far can we extend it without messing with the wall let's extend it to the right by two one two then we're going to take that second spruce wood block and we're going to extend it forwards until it overhangs the front of the house. Maybe by, let's say, like two. Like one, two. We're going to then figure out a path. So this is the entrance to the house, right? These two empty blocks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use our oak wood planks. Or our oak wood slabs, actually. They're not planks, are they? And we're just going to gradually use our oak wood slabs and we're just going to like connect down to the ground in such a way that looks something like that a nice little gradual step down we're going to add spruce wood to the left of those planks and then we're just going to build up spruce wood left and right of these slabs until it's concealed basically we just want to have it concealed like this so you can see that we've just added a little bit of a trim onto the side of the walkway and we can add even more of a trim we can add some additional spruce woods like this we can even knock some out like that right and we can place some oak wood fence like this just in between the slots maybe even coming out a little bit further than you'd expect them to they don't have to be perfect they can be random in nature if you like and if we just come inside of the build here then i'm just going to fill in like this bit and i'm just going to cover up the stairs area but if you like you could leave kind of like a like that amount of space you could leave that and if you wanted to you could even have like a side entrance to the inside of your house these are all these are all ideas that you can take or leave it's completely up to you whether you want to do that it depends on your house i'm going to add a floor in to the house i'm just going to add some oakwood slabs and these oakwood slabs are going to be in line with where the oakwood slabs are on the outside so you're going to be able to walk straight in without too many problems and do remember that inside of the house we do also want to be able to access the underground so maybe knock out a corner block somewhere around here maybe here and we do also want to be able to get um to the mine cart so we want to be able to have a mine track that leaves outside and um what we also want to do is of course we want to uh we basically want to be able to have a nice little pathway that leads down from the second floor of the house all the way down to the ground and to the mine that we're about to make so let's make the mine and then we can kind of like build the mine cart around it so um let's grab some stone cobblestone slab maybe some cobblestone stairs some cobblestone wall this sort of stuff is what we're looking for and i'm just gonna dig this is random by the way guys this is completely random just dig kind of like just a sort of circular ish shape around the front of your house it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be a perfect circle at all as a matter of fact if you wanted to uh, th this is a little bit tricky you could even blast out a big random shape in front of your house using tnt might not be the best idea if you've already built the house but that's an option that's open to you if if you're confident that you're not going to blow up your house i'm not then you could tnt the area and you could make a nice little blast zone and then fill it in with stone but you can see i'm just digging out like a nice sort of mining area like this and this is where the mine track's going to go and i'm just going to um this is this is how it's going to go it's just going to like dig down very gradually you guys know how these things look no we'll just dig down gradually like this and um obviously we would want to have like a proper track down there we'd want to have a proper track we'd um want to actually make it functional i also want to use slabs and stairs and stuff to connect down into the ground 
like this and I want to be able to connect into the mine organically like this so I want to be able to go from the mine to the house from the house to the mine like that and I'm just going to add like a couple of cobblestone walls about the place like here here maybe maybe even one in here I'm going to grab the ores I'm going to grab an ore and I'm going to place one maybe like in the ground here uh, you might find that you don't want to place ores because you might have some lying about or you might not be bothered about the aesthetics of this but for those of you that are a bit more bothered about this it, that aren't that bothered about the functionality of this place you just want the look of it then definitely place some ore blocks around it will look good um what we also want to do is uh we just want to maybe have a couple of like maybe some like stone blocks kind of like sticking up maybe like here Maybe like, uh, maybe even here. Not that many of them. Maybe just a couple like that. Uh, maybe even like one in front of the house. Might look alright. That's looking pretty good so far. Uh, that, that block's kind of irritating me. I'm going to place a stone under here. But now what we want to do is we want to devise a path using our rails. And we just want to have a system of rails that will lead out of our mines like this. And it wants to connect to our house. So... Um, we've got them curving out of the out of the mines now. We want to elevate a position um, from the house that comes down to the ground. So maybe like we'll place a couple of oak plank blocks coming out of the house. Then we'll place a couple of diagonals like this. So maybe something like this, right? So we we'll be able to now run rails from here down here, curve around down to the ground. And then that will connect to maybe, maybe do I want to shorten that a little bit? Or do I want to extend this? I mean, I could equally extend it or I could just have it curve like that. And however you want to do it, because you might change the position of your mine. Um, you're just going to want to build like a spruce wood frame around this. So um, something that I've done, which I think looks kind of cool, is I've put, uh, I have like a spruce wood frame going around the build and i'm just going to grab the uh, fence here and i'm just going to kind of like knock out some blocks and like any supportive blocks i'm just going to replace a little bit with some oak wood fence because i think that it looks kind of cool i i kind of like the supportive nature of the fence block it kind of looks a little bit like that you might even find that you want to place a little bit more like this and you might even want to light the place up a little bit you might even want to chuck maybe like a cobblestone wall with um with like a fence on top and maybe even like a torch next to this like that and on top of all of that you might just want to add some like fence maybe on top of here maybe even on top of here maybe here maybe here maybe you know wherever and uh, just make it look look nice like that it looks really natural it looks like something that spawned in minecraft this is looking quite good if i do say so myself and you might even find that you want to have some like uh torches maybe around here and you might even want to have another one around here just to keep things nice and bright and on top of all of those things, um, what we're now going to do is we're going to build up the walls of our little base. Because after we've built the walls, we know how much room we have to actually uh, mess about with otherwise. So, let's move on. Uh, if we come all the way to the back of the house, right? If we take the... If we take the entire width of the back of the house, so behind, so literally behind the house, we want to add a layer of spruce wood, yeah? Just add a layer of spruce wood popping out of the back of the house. We then want to take the very right hand row of spruce wood that connects to like the walkway that we have that leads us up into the house. And we want to, from this end spruce wood block, we want to do a bottom right diagonal. Go to the right by one, two bottom right diagonals, one, two, down one, Bottom right diagonal, down by nine, but down by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bottom left diagonal, down one. Two bottom left diagonals, one, two, left one. Bottom left diagonal, left ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up left diagonal, left one. Two up left diagonals, one, two, up one. Up left diagonal, up by ten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Upright diagonal. Up one. Two upright diagonals. Right one. Upright diagonal. Right one. And it's not that important, really, that you get a nice big circular shape like this. 
all that matters is you're able to put a wall around this place. Because what we're now going to do is we're going to devise where the entrance is going to be. Because the entrance is going to be a little bit different. I like the idea of the entrance being right up front and centre. So if you come all the way up to the front centre of your entrance, I'm just going to knock out the centre block right here, yeah? And maybe even the two left and right of it. Then I'm going to extend these two spruce woods towards us by one. I'm going to place... How do I want to do this exactly, guys? I'm just going to place, like, um, maybe, like, a spruce wood here. Or maybe, like, here and here. And I'm going to extend the spruce woods upwards. And I want them to connect to each other like this in, like, a normal way. Maybe, like, in a bit of a circle. Maybe even by adding an additional row on top like this, right? And, yeah, that's not looking too bad. And what I want to have is I also want to have a bit of a fence that goes around the area. So I might even end I might even edit like little entrance in a little second. But um, basically, we want to have this pattern going all the way around the walls. And if you start on the right hand side where you have the rows of eleven, if you start from one of the end blocks, you can't get the pattern wrong. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna start spruce, fence, spruce, fence, spruce, fence, spruce, fence, spruce, fence, spruce, fence, spruce. Fence, spruce fence, then that'd be a spruce wood right here, then fence, spruce fence. You guys get the idea, right? Um, please, you get the idea. It's basically you repeat that pattern going all the way around um, your base, and you just want to repeat that spruce fence, spruce fence. And if you start from the end of like the rows of uh, 10 that you have, then you can't really go wrong. And uh, we're just going to move through here, and that'll be a fence, spruce fence. Um, oh no, there we go, spruce, fence, spruce, fence, and you can't really go wrong if you just kind of like go all the way around like that, and I'm also going to place some oak wood slabs on top of every single one of those blocks because I think that it puts a nice little finish, I really think it does, I think it puts a nice little finish on the fence like this, uh, you guys can see me doing that right here. And it is, it just looks nice, really. It, um, and also, I mean, with it being just like an extra half a block high, it makes it just ever so slightly more defensible. It depends where you're um, placing this thing, of course. I mean, you could be putting it in a place like me where I guess it's kind of easy to just jump in anyway. You could just climb one of the hills at the back and probably uh, get enough momentum that you can uh, just jump in, but whatever. And, you know, those are the walls of the base. It looks quite nice like this. And then that just leaves us... I mean, it maybe we can add a little bit of a fence underneath the entrance like this. You can add some fence. And you can really shrink down, like, the amount of space um, that's needed to, like, walk in. You can maybe just, like, leave the middle two blocks just so that you walk in. Kind of, like, put a gate on it. Uh, you could even place yourself... I'm kind of obsessed with these. I don't know why. They don't even look that great. But, I mean, you could even place some like torches and some fences and stuff like just to you know like like this there we go this is the tiki torch uh the torch is on top there we go just to look a little bit more menacing um if you like of course you can even kind of like put a little bit of a trim on top of um on top of like the entrance like you could uh place some fence and uh, some stairs and stuff um coming down like this and then you could even extend it like one block forwards if you wanted to, um, I don't know, if you, if you wanted to kind of like extend it out a little bit. And then we could even place like a layer just underneath, connect it together at the top a little bit like that. That's not looking too bad whatsoever. And if you wanted to, maybe you could even, I mean, this are, these are just freestyle ideas. It's up to you whether you want to add any of this or none of this at all like you could even add like a what am i doing guys what am i doing why there we go i'm looking for the stone and maybe the uh, 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 there we go the stomach stairs maybe like up at the top here and you could even like hang this coming down and then maybe you could even have like a little bit of a maybe like this or maybe even like fence that and maybe you could even have like a torch or maybe even a glowstone, you know, something, I don't know. You could you could add maybe something like this. I, I'm not sure this looks good, actually, as I, as I do it, but I've committed to it. But, you know, the, the entire point of this is you can kind of like just mess about with it until you're happy with it. You can add more light, less light, you can do whatever you want. And it kind of emulates what we have going on with the house. Anyway, those are ideas, up to you. 
Um, I'm just going to get rid of uh, this patch here because uh, let's let's mess about with the house now a little bit. Let's let's mess about with the grounds. So an idea um, is to add a little bit of a grass path in going around the build. Like if you have from the entrance like a little bit of grass path that kind of like connects you to the house just so that you know where you're going. Um, it'll look quite nice like that so like if you were to add a little bit of a grass path that kind of like connects you to the house like this it'd look quite good uh if you want a tree a tree is kind of a cool thing to add if you just grab yourself like an oak tree bone meal that sort of stuff maybe like a tree here grow it in like the front left hand corner and i think why is is this tree tiny or is it me ah oh, i can't move ah no let me out Okay, so that's the, the worst tree that I've ever seen in my life. Maybe we'll get rid of this torch. Um, but what we can have is we can have a tree and maybe a little bit of water in front of the tree. Just to kind of like, oh no, I don't want to, no, there we go. Fix it. Oh, I'm making things worse. So, that's washed away the line. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Uh, anyway, maybe a tree, maybe some water. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you don't really want to tempt fate like I just did and like destroy everything that you've made. But you guys get the idea. Uh, if you want, you can add like a little bit of a farm to the right of the house. If you just want to make this place a little bit more like, I don't know, a bit more functional. Maybe add like a small farm to the right of the house. That would look quite cool in my opinion. I think that that would look quite nice. A little bit of a small farm. Uh, some easy ways to kind of spruce up the area, always bone meal, bone meal is always a nice easy tool to use, um, just to kind of like liven up the house a little bit, always looks, looks kind of a bit more interesting after bone meal has been added. Uh, some other things, I mean very simple, like if you grab yourself some flower pots, if you grab yourself some flowers, I mean if you add kind of like flowers and flower pots in like random places, I mean it, it kind of typically looks a little bit nicer. You don't even have to add that many of them to really make a difference. And if you have no intention of ever using this house as an actual mining home, then maybe just chuck a couple... Okay, maybe just chuck a couple of mine carts about the place and um, I don't know, it, it kind of decorates the house a little bit. But that is, that's the house made, that's the entire base made, actually. Uh, if you want to customize that in any way, shape, or form, if you want to mess about with it more, then that is completely up to you. But I think that that's the foundation of the build, actually very well made. And whether you want to do the inside or not is up to you. If you want some ideas for the inside, then please do check out the front of the video again, where I show you what the front of my house looks like, or what the inside of my house looks like. Uh, I think that it's actually quite well decorated. I think it looks quite good. It looks very survivally if you check out the start of the video where I show you the inside side of the house but that's it guys hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial if you have please do remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate that it really helps me out honestly does if you hit that like consider subscribing because you might like my other stuff as well uh if you subscribe click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box comment let me know what you want to see next do you want to see some more bases i have plenty more base ideas guys i'd I know that you guys are kind of have mixed feelings on the bases at the moment. I mean, so you guys are like, yeah, more bases. And some of you guys are like, no, stop. Make more houses. So I'm going to be making a few more houses this week as well. You should be seeing one on Friday because, well, you should be seeing another nice big house on Friday. It's a sub modern house, if I remember correctly. But anyway, if you want to see any more of my content, check out the cards. Description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys will be able to find all of my stuff, I'm sure. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video.